Hi guys, welcome back to PSEN Creations. Today we are going to make a wreath. Um, I'm going to do the pancake style again, um, just because I'm trying to use up these ties that I have and I only have 12 of them. Um, so we're using this sign that I actually made. It's a custom sign, um, hand painted. And then this is actually vinyl, the gingham, uh, black and white. The sign itself is six and a half inches in width and 11 and a half inches in length. So we're also going to be using this jute, poly jute ribbon, um, ribbon um, mesh. We're going to cut 20 pieces at, er, going back, hold on actually. Okay, here's a little bit of light. Okay, we're going to cut 12 pieces at 20 inches and 12 pieces at 10 inches. We will do the ruffle and then we will do the curl. 12 ties, 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree. And then this is the ribbon that I will be using. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get started. I will be fast forwarding through um, the parts that really, it's just repetitive. So to start off, we're going to do six ties on the inner two bars. So here are the inner two bars. Each crossbar, I'm going to do one tie on each crossbar on the inside. And then on the outside, the outer two bars, we're going to do one tie in between each section. So I will show you. The crossbar, inner, just two ties. And these are, Tinsel ties versus the pipe cleaners that you would normally traditionally use. I just had these on hand, so I've decided I'm going to use them up. If you get a work wreath form, sometimes they come with these attached to it. And then here is my outer. So each section with the style of wreath that I'm doing, this is the pancake style, guys. I have done that in the last few videos, and that's just because. Um, you definitely use less material to do the pancake, but it still looks great. And, you know, if you have a storm door or a screen door, that's when the pancake wreath really is great. Or if you're looking for something that's not as bulky, uh, maybe you want to hang it in your kitchen um, or in your hallway across, you know, on top of your mantle, maybe, and you just don't want something that's too extravagant. So here's how it looks. We have two on the inner crossbars and then one on the outer. Each section is going to look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then we'll come back and we'll start cutting our mesh. Okay, we're all back and our wreath is all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and cut our mesh. So this is one roll of mesh. This is a poly jute. So I'm going to cut 12 pieces at 20 inches. I'm using my rotary cutter. This mesh cannot be cut with a uh, one of those heat tools because it has jute in it. So I'm going to cut again 12 pieces at 20 inches and 12 pieces at 10 inches, and that will use up your entire roll. So for this wreath, we are only going to be using one roll of 10 inch mesh. I will be back when I'm done so that we can start ruffling, curling them, and putting them back in the wreath form. Okay guys, so I have my 20 inches cut and I have all 12 of my 10 inches cut as well. So I have my 10 inches back here, my 20 inches over here. So I have 12 pieces of 20 inch mesh I'm going to simply take the curl side down and I'm just going to find the middle mark and just start ruffling. So just pulling it towards me, giving me that ruffle, the butterfly, the bow tie, whatever it is that you call it. And then I'm going to open my tie and then just place it on in there. Thank you. 
and I'm going to continue that same process for the entire frame. So this is what it would look like. Okay. Keep it going. So I'm going to show you one more time. You find the center and then you just pull it in. People do it differently. Just find what works for you to do a ruffle. So that's what this method that I'm doing is. It's a ruffle. And then again, because I'm choosing to do the style that allows to fit between the screen and the storm door, I'm making sure that it's not pooping out, that it's flat as possible. So we got the base done. Now we're going to cut our ribbon tails. And um, once we have our ribbon tails cut, we are going to add our curls that we cut um, and then go from there. All right, so the ribbon I'm going to cut at, I think I'm just going to, I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I think I'm just going to use these two for ribbon tails. So I'm going to cut 12 of each and I'm going to cut at 13 inches. So I have this piece of cardboard that I just used and it's cut to 13 inches. Okay, once your ribbon is cut, you're going to take your curls and you're going to take your ribbon. You're going to put the two and a half at the bottom, the one and a half at the top, fold them in half. Find that center piece. I'm just going to put them. So for the ten and a half, you're just going to roll it up into a curl. And you're going to put the curl at the bottom, 
your ribbon at the top and you're going to just, you can either open a pipe cleaner or just leave it not opened, I mean closed, and then you're just going to curl. And the pipe cleaners you can either remove, you can keep on there, however you want to do it. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to follow that same process around the entire wreath. guys so here's what it looks like so far so now we are going to make sure that we get this stapled you can either use cable mounts because it's wood I'm comfortable with cable mounts um, if not I would do staples in the wood and it's thick enough for staples so I'm going to go ahead and do cable mounts I mean sorry I uh, do staples so give me one second Okay, so I have my sign. I've stapled two pipe cleaners. I'm going to now just place it in the middle. And I'm going to use a plastic knitting needle to fish my pipe cleaners through the mesh. Just makes it easier. stays on. Oh, I'm going to flip my. All right, so I'm lucky that it is between the crossbars, so it gives me that extra support that I need.
And here is our wreath. I will get a better picture of it and show it. All right, thanks guys for joining me today. Again, PSEN Creations, follow me on Facebook. I do lives on there every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I also have an Etsy shop, PSEN Creations on Etsy as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a video. If you're interested in me doing any types of videos um, related to wreath making or just general crafting, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.